Hello everybody and welcome back to another Subnautica Below Zero video. Uh Yeah, that's the intro. But uh yeah, today what we're gonna be doing is playing Subnautica Below Zero but building a base. So we are gonna be building a base today because let's be honest, my base is well, it's not much of a base right now, it's kinda terrible. But yeah. We're gonna be just playing, uh and building the base. So I'll see you guys when we're in. Alrighty guys, we are now in the world. Dang, that loading screen takes forever, I'm not even gonna lie. So, luckily we do have our sea truck here, which is gonna make transporting all of our resources to our new base much easier. But I think to make this process easier, I'm, well, we'll see, let's see how much storage we have. I don't think, I don't know, because I feel like it's very expensive to make another storage thing. Yeah, we need to... Anything we can keep on us. But we need to scout out, like, a good area to move our base, you know. So let's go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead and pack up all my stuff real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and pack it all up, you know. And I'm gonna deconstruct the base. All that. All that good stuff. And go ahead. Oh, I don't know, guys. This is kind of a lot of stuff. I think my best bet is that I make the, uh... I make another storage compatible because I think I need another storage unit thing. Alright, let's go ahead and just do that. What do we need to make that? Alrighty guys, I'm gonna be honest, I actually I think we're gonna need the storage module. So I went ahead and did all that. Storage module right here. Let's go ahead and make it. Imagine if I made another fabricator model, I'd probably end it all right there to be honest. Like my life, I'd end my life. Cause that that'd be so annoying. Is there even or ever any reason to ever make a second one? I don't think there is. Alrighty now. Here we go. Let's go ahead and attach it. Attach it. Our truck's about to be fire. It's about to be looking cold. Watch how cold it's about to look. I'm about to attach it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Ooh wee. Zooey mama. Alright, let's go ahead and move the truck a little closer and then we're gonna do a montage of I have something important to share. What? Artifact. Yes. Them. You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. Ooh. Location uploaded to PDA. Uh, I don't think there's any chance I can go down that far. Like, zero chance, to be honest. But it's okay. We're gonna ignore that right now and do what we want to do. Because we can. Wait, let me get this straight. Can you just build the control room? Or whatever it's called. And just change the color of your base and then delete it. I now realize our base is still the same color as from last time. Cool, I guess. Alright, I think we need to start moving everything. Just putting whatever we can in these. If we can fit it in here, we need to put it in here, you know? Anyway, uh, montage commence. Alrighty guys, um, we're gonna go ahead and head out now, so I had to do something. We got a little bit of extra water, not that we'll need it, but got a little extra. So let's look for a good place. I honestly, this may sound stupid based off my last video, but I'm thinking maybe around the floating islands. I know, I know, I know this is a bad idea because of Chalakajuria. By the way, that is not just no breeze joke, I literally don't know how to say their name, so I don't even try. Don't bother with it. But right now, we're just gonna head out. We're gonna just look for a good place that we like. You know, this is about us. Our home. Also, I did not look up how to get that weird red plant thingy, so... We're on our own here. This might be a really good place to build, to be honest. This area right here. But not exactly in this area. Maybe around this area. So we get a scanner room. It's gonna go wild when it scans for shell outcrops. Because look at all these outcrops. Rest in peace, little burrow. Okay. Oh, wait. What are we thinking of this place? Are we liking this place? Oh, 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 oh. I'm not liking this place. I'm not liking this place. I don't know if I like... I don't know. I'm just not feeling this place. Something about it. I'm just not feeling it. Did you get... What the hell? ZF? Is he coming at us, bro? 
Oh, hell no. Yo, what was the cello skr 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 doing out here? I think this is our place I want to call home, to be honest. You guys may think I'm stupid for saying that, but... If there's anything I learned about Subnautica, you gotta not be scared of the Leviathans. This is our world, not theirs, y'all. You gotta realize this. This is our world, it's not theirs. I'm hearing two different roars, so one of them is definitely the Chelskeskeskeske thing. We need to go ahead and get out. What do we need our builder tool? We need to figure out. We need to build a multi-purpose room. So that. And then we also need to have enough for a hatchet. I will hit you so fast. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Skedaddle, would you? Now, I don't know what Leviathans are in this game, but I don't think they're ones we want to deal with. To be honest. Do we have enough titanium for everything? Let me in. There we are. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna need more quartz. I've been here. All right, this is temporary until we can afford a actual power. All primary systems online. There's actually tons of quartz in this area. Alright, now we're just gonna... Really, I just need to start moving stuff in there, to be honest. We need to just start moving our stuff. Uh, let's see. Like this. There we are. Now, we need a fabricator in here, even though we have one. What was that? I'm gonna be so paranoid now. It's the only problem with living here. Paranoia is gonna be the death of me. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a fabricator. Fabricator. Boom. Bop. Bada bada bing bong. What else is important right now? I wanna build. Can we, do we not. Have we not discovered a large room yet? We haven't. Okay, that's actually. That's gonna be a little annoying now that I think about it. We haven't discovered a larger room yet. We're definitely not gonna do the intro to our videos in the house for sure because. Shoot, them guys are loud. Loud AF. Oh, well, we got some of these, actually. Man, y'all better quit it with your Yankee shells. Oh, a scanner room could be really useful right here, actually. So, table core. Oh, my God. Of course we need table coral sample. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we not? I'm going to try to find some table coral sample. I really hope there's some around here. Okay, we got all the stuff we need for the scanner room. You j okay, I was about to get really annoyed because it was not letting me place my scanner room. I think I want a scanner room. It's okay. I know what it does, man. Why was that so weird? That was such a weird voice line. So will it tell me? Oh, there it- Yeah, it tells me when I can scan for- Let's see if there's any near us at the moment. Oh, look. There's one out here. It found one. It found a cello thing. Data boxes, fragments, glow whale. So you can scan for really anything. Why are the table coral samples blue? Uh, limestone, lithium. Yeah, that's really useful, actually. Very useful, especially when scanning. It's really good because when you get that one upgrade, there's still upgrades, right? So if I craft, uh, what upgrade is it? Scanner room. Oh, we need magnetite. The scanner room. Uh, you a uh, HUD chip that allows you to like see the stuff right that's just really useful you know or maybe a controllable camera could be fun I don't know we can really the opportunities are just endless you know I'm gonna be honest when playing Subnautica the first one I never actually used my Cyclops because to be honest by the time I got it I didn't make it and then I made it and then kept silent running on it so it was dead my entire playthrough I never used it so eventually the time most people use it right you get down, you're about to go to the lava zone, you take your Cyclops. I didn't do that. I took my... I took my, um, my Pronsu, and that's all I took, and I beat the game with just a Pronsu. So, I never actually ended up using my Cyclops for more than, like, 10 minutes, just driving around doing nothing with it. I just didn't like- it was too hard to control, so honestly, I like the C-Truck more than the Cyclops. I like the C-Truck more than the Cyclops.
like this thing, it's cool. Vital signs stabilizing. That may be a hot take, but Cyclops is worse than this thing. Okay guys, we have now finally that took forever, I will say it took forever. Moved all of our stuff into the base, as you can see. All of our belongings are now over in these these things. Which we didn't have a whole lot, to be honest. We had a small amount. We had, one, like, three lockers full. We had a little bit of stuff. Now, really, I don't know what to do. I feel like we need to find some more parts, to be honest, before we can do a whole lot. But I think we should... Um, I think we should try and to explore. We should do a little exploration, you know? A little bit of exploration. Alrighty, let's do our outro. Let's do our outro in the scanner room while scanning for a Chelskerit. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, sorry this episode is a little bit shorter than usual. Um, and, well, to be honest, this episode was a whole lot of nothing. So I'll probably cut it down to probably five minutes, hopefully. I can get it down to that short. Maybe ten. No, ten. Just thinking more realistically. But next episode, we'll do a lot more base expanding. I'm going to look up how to get that thing. And next episode will be a lot more productive. This was more like just setting down the ground. Like, just setting down what we're going to do in the next episode. And kind of preparing it a little. And, yeah. I'll see you guys next time.